Hey, welcome back. If you're watching this after the premiere, then you can probably tell that this part is even longer than the last one, so I'm not going to keep you waiting. Either very late on the 23rd or the very early morning of the 24th, Marty would do a stream called Sarek's Girlfriend Dumps Him for Being a Delusional Loser, Sarek's Makes Long Projection Filled Rant. Immediately after starting this stream, Marty would announce the Dance Like Chance contest. Yo, okay, so I guess people are demanding mail truck. Uh, I just got a cash app requesting mail truck. Um, I want to play Shawnee Boy's edit because Shawnee Boy actually has a great idea for a contest. Dance Like Chance, where people will be able to do their best Cyrax dance impressions and get compensated monetarily. I think that's actually brilliant. I think that would be really fun. And uh, let me link some show here. After playing Mail Truck, Marty told us about how Jasmine broke up with Cyrax and that this was a total victory for us before watching the same video we just saw. I mean, let's let's just dive right into it. Um, it seems that Cyrax's girlfriend, Jasmine, has had enough of his uh, NBS, you know, uh, she had enough of his antics and shenanigans. And she's dropped him like a hot potato. And that's a great thing. Like, that's honestly a great thing. Um, she's been a big occupier of his time in the past. And uh, has always steered him away from trauma and conflict. Free at last? Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. NBS? Yeah. 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 She's had enough of it. She's had enough of it. Um, so Cyrax is going to have a lot of unoccupied time. He's probably going to be a little bitter and angry. And uh, this is a this is a major, major, major score for us. Um, she's she, she it was it was her and Michael hacking that kept him away. And people want Cyrax time. You get to them in spades. Hang on. When people want Sark's time, you give it to them in spades. What do you what do, what do you mean? There's nothing worse than talking with a little predator. So here's what I think people think. I think people think that by befriending him and being nice to him and giving him things, that they're going to set up some major elaborate troll. The next day, on May 25th, Cyrex would do a stream saying that his Australian friend Clint's wife wasn't doing well. I'm on Facebook. Um, I never thought I'd ever have to make a video like this. Just a few months ago, and like I said, this this video is probably the hardest one I'm gonna fucking make. Either as many of you may or may not know, one of my close friends that has had my back since day one who's been like your brother to me, who's been family to me, and stood up for me and has had my back through all this shit that I've been through over the last seven years. One of my best friends from overseas, Clint. His wife, Nat, who has been just as close to a friend to me as he has. Just a few months ago, she was diagnosed with terminal cancer. And she's been in and out of the hospital ever since. And I know that I normally don't show emotion or talk about stuff like that. And I know that I've never really brought her up, but it's because I've tried to stay strong in hopes that she would get better. But unfortunately, that's not the case.
you know, tomorrow was supposed to be a good day. I was supposed to make a very big announcement tomorrow. I was supposed to make probably one of the biggest announcements that I have ever made in my life. And it concerned, it was getting concerned my music, gameplay stuff, and all kinds of stuff like that. But, either next Monday or next Tuesday, Matt is going home to live on her final days. And it kills me because Matt's been a very good friend of me. Cyrex tells Clint that he's sorry about all the pain that he has to go through. And Clint, as a brother, as family, I want you to know that I am so f***ing sorry, bro. I am so f***ing sorry that you have to go through this pain. Because you know that I know what it's like to deal with that. Because, as in 2015, I lost my older brother to cancer. And you know that I know what that's like, and no one should have to go through that. And to that, I want to say thank you for being a good friend to me. Thank you for always being there and having my back. In the same way that Clinton did and all my other friends did. Thank you for being such a good friend to me. Cyrex told Clint that he still remembered what Clint said when they first met and that they were always there for him. I still remember you telling me that day when we met to stop giving a f about what these people think of me. And it was hard. It was very fucking hard. Because I was in that constant toxic circle of negativity and trash and garbage. I was trapped in that garbage. But you and what you said to me It helps me realize a lot of stuff. Like I said, you and Clint have been two of my closest friends for fucking years. You guys have been there for me so fucking much throughout all the shit that I've been through. And I can't thank you guys enough for that. Later, Cyrus would do another buzz stream where he was all over the place saying he was copywriting songs, Cyrus was dead, and that he was in the best physical shape of his life. Now, there was one dude in particular that said something. Oh, why don't you do originals? Why don't you do original stuff instead of covers? Well, let me tell you why. Because I've caught on to how you little mother trolls work. Yeah. I've caught on to how you little mother work. See, y'all just want to do my own shit, my own original songs on my channel just so you guys can go around and steal them but not today mother not no more any song I release any intro metal I release is getting fucking copywritten anything I do is getting copywritten so that you don't trolls 
can't jack my shit. Cause see, y'all have it in your head that oh, this is just Cyrax. We can take whatever we want, whatever we want from him. No, you can't. Cause one, I don't go by Cyrax anymore. Cyrax is dead. Okay. Cyrax has been dead for a very long time now. Cyrax has been dead for the last six months. And honestly, this six month break has been the best break I have had of my life. I've had a lot of fun these last six months. I've gotten to enjoy myself a little bit. I've gotten to get out. I'm in, I'm in better shape now than I ever have been. You know, because a lot of people don't know this, but since I've been gone, I've been working out quite a bit. I've been doing everything I can to stay healthy. I've been getting back into shape. I've been working out. I've been running. I've been trying to go for walks as much as I can. Um, I even posted a video not too long ago of me doing push-ups off of my bench for my keyboard. Cyrix announced that he would be coming back to YouTube after six months of being off the website. Like I said, it's been six long months of me being away. Six months of me not being on YouTube. Six months of me just getting away and getting my stuff right mentally like mentally I'm back to normal I'm back to where I should be back to where I wanted to be seven years ago and I can honestly say I'm glad to be back in that head space I'm glad to be back to where I should have been the whole time so to all y'all trolls that are probably watching this on YouTube right now all you internet, or more or less you internet bullies on YouTube that are probably watching this right now, want y'all to know that if you think that you're going to get in my head and control me and dictate what I do, wrong answer, f boys. Not happening. Cyrax then announced that he was going to be doing more gameplay streams and start doing karaoke for like half an hour, but I'm not going to subject you to that. Later that night, Cyrax's YouTube and Twitch would be discovered, and Cyrax's Twitch would be banned in just three hours after being made, breaking the previous record of 12 hours by a lot. Cyrax christened his YouTube channel with a video called Cyrax Fallen Soldier Studio Session where he covered d Cure's song, Fallen Soldier's Rap Virgin. <laughs> d Cure wasn't happy with Cyrax and let him know in the comments section, which Cyrax of course deleted, but on a re-upload however, we get to see a little explanation on what happened, as well as the song creator commenting as well. The next day, May 26th, was all over the place, and therefore, I cannot guarantee this is the actual timeline of what happened, but I'll try my best. Very early in the morning, on May 26th, Marty started a stream called Cyrax's Girlfriend Has a Lot to Say About Him. Marty gave a quick explanation on what was going on with Cyrax and explained what his job is. Um, so, uh, Cyrax's... Uh, girlfriend has been saying a whole lot of not nice things. I glanced at it earlier. Um, you know, I guess like my quote unquote job is to, it's very simple, uh, to be on time, to stay apprised of Cyrax, and that's it. And that's it. So I was late, and I don't really know what's going on with Cyrax, uh, but we'll get into that. Like, we'll, 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 I'm, I'm doing that right now, okay? Like, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it right now. Like, so it's a work in progress here, okay? All right, so, yeah, uh, I guess he did a stream earlier. I, 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 I couldn't tell you what it was. I, I really couldn't tell you what it was about. Um, I, I simply don't know. But I looked at some of these text messages, and, man, it's like she's just, she's just fucking dragging this guy. So let, let's just dive right into it. 
Marty then started to read out what Jasmine had to say about Cyrax, so I think it's highlight time. I don't know the word on this, so paragraph by paragraph, my findings of the strange creature. Wow, so the love of Cyrax's life views him as a strange creature. And he is, he's a very strange creature. I mean, he tried to warn her. On the air is Psyduck, I meant to say Cyrax, I'm guessing, giver of headaches. Giver of headaches. Giver of headaches, yeah. I mean, um, personally, I enjoy the guy, but I don't, I don't take him seriously at all. Like his grandma screams without even being mad. It's 24 7 animal. What do you, of course she does. Let me make this full screen. Of course she does. She's, she's got to deal with his. So, like, of course she screamed 24 7. When words rhyme, I'm a happy guy. I know you'll be happy to hear this, but his grandparents know him enough to spray his bed for bed bugs. They don't trust him to do it alone. So he sleeps on the floor with a knitted blanket as a pillow. Wow. Wow, let's let's all let's all take that and process that. Okay. Let's let's just breathe that one in. Okay. Let's let's let's, let's digest this. Cyrax sleeps on the floor like a fucking dog. Okay. He sleeps on the floor like a fucking dog. That's what an adult does. You know what I mean? Like that's that's this is this is this is this is disgusting, Cyrax. You're a disgusting person. You're a disgusting person. You sicken me. You sicken everybody. Like this is your wife, dude. You talk about like doing doing big things, and you sleep on the floor, getting eaten alive by bugs. Like, what the f is wrong with you, dude? What the f is wrong with you? And your own family doesn't care enough about you to, to spray it, and they know you're like they they one thousand one million percent know you're. Oh, so they will let you. He's such a joke. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, how how can you how can you look at this, and. Uh, and, and, like, consider him a human being. He's less than a dog. He's less than a dog. Dogs sleep on the floor sometimes. Okay, that's fine. But if anyone's dog is being eaten alive by bed bugs, then, you know, you they would do something about it. So, in my opinion, Cyrax is less than a dog to his own family. He has baby mice in his room that he f doors. In, in an old stream... Old like multiple streams, Cyrax referred to the mice, the rats, as his pets and his friends. He would call the rats that infest his bedroom as his friends and his pets. He sleep on the floor like a f***ing, like a f***ing, I don't even know what I would say a dog, but like you're worse than a dog. You're lesser than a dog. Look at him. This is this is how you sleep. This is how you sleep. You know, the big hotshot, media mogul, superstar recording artist, sleeps like a f***ing street urchin. Jesus, Cyrax. You, you, you know what, dude? You're, you're the most pathetic mother I've ever seen in my life. He has roaches that crawl on his plate. Roaches that crawl on his plate. You know, like if, if if a roach touches anything, I've never seen a roach uh, in any in anywhere that I live. Um, I couldn't live like that. I just couldn't. Like, <laughs> even if I see like a few ants, like when the weather gets warm, I freak out. I, I I'm 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 like totally uncomfortable. It's it, it spooks me. But. Yeah, so if a roach like touched a plate, the plate's fucking gone, you know. And, and I, I don't sleep until like I'm confident that everything is removed. He helps out by constantly rearranging furniture daily for his grandma. Blurry? That's not blurry. No, it was just small before. That would be the biggest nuisance in the world. Like once something is somewhere where it belongs, then you leave it at that. I guess he does that to feel productive. Like that he's doing something for his family, but like constantly moving around the furniture. I don't get that. I just don't understand. I like. I, I think I do understand that. Like, so he's helped out his family for the day by pushing the table, like you know, foot to the right. Uh, maybe rearranging the couch pillows, and that's his contribution. You know what I mean? Like, so he can consume, consume, consume. Provide nothing ever, never has, 
never will. But he, he constantly moves the tables around, you know, and, and, and that's that. Like, very helpful. This sounds insane. It is insane, Bang. It's, it's, it's one of the most insane things I've actually ever heard. It's like thinking that somebody does this for any reason would be bizarre, like beyond bizarre. But thinking that you're helping out the household in the process, it's it's a skull scratcher. You know, I don't, I don't know how to – he's so insane. He had the most insane thing in the world. Wow, this is this is this is adorable. He takes out the trash at night when the trolls can't get him. He takes out the trash at night when the trolls can't get him. So he's at a point where he's so terrified to even step outside because he thinks the trolls are going to get him. Like he lives in constant fear. <laughs> you know, he lives in constant fear that he'll wait until maybe two or three in the morning to take out the trash because he thinks that somebody's going to come by and lump him up, you know? What a f- man. Like, imagine this is how you feel. Like, that you, that you live in a constant state of terror and fear, but yet constantly challenging people to come by to fist fight you. Like, you would think that if you were that scared that you maybe would stop inviting people over for fisticuffs, you know? It just doesn't make that make sense. Like, somebody, somebody please make sense of this for me. Marty would then invite Jasmine onto the stream to give her side of the story. Jasmine, 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 Jasmine. It's nice to know that you're one of us, that you've been taking notes, and you just wanted to antagonize them. Um, why don't you just join... Uh, Join up, you know, like you're you're one of us. Um, I'll give you an example of somebody who I used to be at odds with for gatekeeping Cyrex, Michael Hacking, and you'll never hear me say anything bad about him now that he stopped. You know, I you, you seem like a reasonable woman. Uh, I'd love to hear your side of the your side of the uh, the story here. Um, you know, it's unfair that he's being denigratory towards you and your family. And you're voiceless. It's just not right, you know, like, especially considering you were the victim of all the chicanery and shenanigans. Um, I don't know if you're watching this. I, I would imagine there's at least like a 20% chance that you are or will watch this in the coming days. Um, I just like to hear your side of the story. And like, I, I don't, I'm sorry that like um, the claws had to come out and uh, I, you know, encourage people or at least certainly didn't dissuade people from sending, you know, everything on deck uh, to your household or what I thought was your household. I don't know. Like maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. Um, it doesn't really matter anymore. Like, but I, I don't have any ill intent for you. Um, I think you've been wronged. I think that Cyrax has mistreated you. I know that he's mistreated you and he's been abusive and needy and sniveling. Um, so I don't know if you're going to see this or not. Maybe you won't. I think most likely you won't or you won't respond to it. But um, I would love to hear your side of the story. I think everyone else would. And uh, there's no reason for you to be the nail. I think you should be the hammer. I think you should be the fucking hammer with this guy. But I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it at that, you know what I mean? Like in case she doesn't see it. Jasmine would take Marty up on his offer and join the call. Jasmine. <laughs> we got a picture of him. Yeah, he's he's a real he's a real specimen. He's a real specimen. He is, uh, man. Uh, Whenever like, so, he'd look really goofy, I'd call him handsome. I called him handsome a lot. <laughs> <laughs> like so, were you just trolling him the whole time? Um, it started as that, but I felt bad for him, and then I just started dating him because he's like company, and I could hear my jokes bounce off of him. <laughs> so, like, yeah, people. I mean, I'm not gonna say that people don't give him a really hard time, but like, you kind of agree that he deserves all of it. Oh, 100 percent. I didn't think that he deserved all of it until how he went off on me, dude. Like, 
he was nice as can be until whenever he gets mad, he turns into like a lol cow, man. Jasmine told Marty exactly what she saw in Cyrax. You saw him? Like, or was it just like a facade? Honestly, he was literally just like a little kicked puppy and I felt bad for him. And then I say jokes and they bounce off of him and I'm like, oh, I like that. But it's my own <laughs> voice that I like. Well, okay. That's, I guess that's like pretty, uh, you know, stuff where, I mean, you seem like a pretty funny gal to me. Like, you seem like a charming woman. and Yeah, um, he lost a lot, man. <laughs> he really did. He shot yeah. himself in the foot. I, I hope he knows it, too. I hope that he knows that, like, this this could have been um, a blessing and his attitude and ways, like, cost him. Yeah. Um, Jasmine told us that Cyrex likes to pop his bed bugs like they're bubble wrap. Yeah, like, I can't imagine, like, that he's just comfortable with all these bed bugs and rats and mice swirling oh around. No, he likes to pop them. He likes pop. his bed bugs. He pops them. He says, pops. when you pop them, they smell like stink bugs. What the okay. fuck? I know, man. I know. <laughs> anyway, son, let's get to it. <laughs> Me, you, bed now. <laughs> I... I mean, it's just unbelievable that this is, like, a real person. For real, man. Like, that's why I was so, like, entranced by him for, like, months. I was only watching, like, stuff on him. Like, I was interested in Christian, and then I started watching stuff on him, and it's like, how is this person real? At this point, we get to see a fun little conversation between Marty and Jasmine. Yeah, I, I'm just popping bed bugs, and, like, they smell like stink bugs when you pop them. Like, what? <laughs> is wrong with you dude i know man he's like oh you wouldn't believe what happened when i got up there was a roach on my plate as he continues to eat the food oh yeah i'm not making up everything that i said in that is 100 percent real man marty asked if cyrax was good at anything and jasmine said that he's good at drifting until he has to prove it then he reverts back to what we're used to do you think that he's good at anything He's good at drifting. Drifting. That. Mm -hmm. Just when he goes to play it on camera, it's so funny he can't do it. Like, I'll sit there watching him for hours drifting, and then the second he gets on camera, he's, like, hitting the wall and everything. Hmm. So funny. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Like, so, so like, he, he's got, like, some sort of, like, performance anxiety where, like, uh, when it comes down to it, he just, he just can't do it. Yeah, he said it's because he hasn't streamed in a long time. I was just kind of, like, joking around about him with it, and it, like, really was, like, a sore subject, and I didn't realize that. Marty had to ask how often he was mentioned in that household and referenced how often it was according to Tangerine Cat. How often am I mentioned in that house? Honestly, it's usually, like, people... Well, in the beginning, like, when you were, like, a really big problem for him, it was, like, every other joke. But we literally had Yo Marty's instead of Yo Mama's. Those are funny. Yeah, I, I've heard that like he he compl and and maybe like it went down as time went on, but like that he mm -hmm. it definitely like the, did. Yeah, Tangerine Cat said that like ninety percent of the like that he would think about me ninety percent of the time, and good for him that he's got that like toned down a little bit. Um, yeah. Do you do you think that like if the trolls stopped? that his music would, you know, get him anywhere or that people would buy it. Like, I, it's, it's. I think he would go right back to the same community and he would continuously get himself shot in the foot. The only future that he wants away from the trolls, he can't do music. Marty then went on to set up Jasmine with Tony the Black Dragon. I told her like, look, here's your line. Don't be stupid. I'm your cupid. What do you think about that? What do you think <laughs> That's about cute. That? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So like like here's the thing. Who wants to who wants to be stupid? Nobody. Yeah. Yeah, so if like Tony's people... got a Facebook man, hit me up. Yo you see what I mean here? You see what I mean here? Jake Rose like I'm uh, I, I'd like to think that I have some skills. I'd like to think that I have some skills in the field. I mean If I, me I... and Tony start dating, we'll come on the line together. <laughs> We're having in so, Chance's face. 
Oh wow! I think we got something here. I think I think we got something here, <laughs> Tony. I don't know if you're on if you're on Discord right now, but uh, maybe you guys can just talk and like I'll just just I'll just be a, a fly on the wall. I'll just be a fly <laughs> on the wall. Here, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah. Oh, wow. Tony, so I'm sending the link right now. I'm just going to let whatever happens happen. And uh, I think you, I think what you love, Birds, have a strong future together. To answer you easy, I did not. And he wasn't into that, even though um, Amanda was, like, pushing it on him. Smarty. Speaking Hi, of- Tony. Yeah, Hi, hey, Jasmine. I'm- I'm just no, gonna, what do you think? But I'm just I, you know what? I would love to rub him in his face. Yeah. Be like, you can't just be that. I got a girlfriend, mother, and you don't. I could show more of their conversation, but I think it's a bit better that we leave those lovebirds alone. Cyrex would then respond to Jasmine's accusations on a stream called Response to Jasmine and the Very Real Truth About Her! Exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point, exclamation point on his brand new YouTube channel. You know, I didn't want to do this. I really, really didn't want to make this video. But it appears a certain little bitch wants to run her mother mouth about me. Cyrax started off strong, immediately accusing Jasmine's mother of being a meth head. Alright, Jasmine, you want to run your mouth about me? How about we air out your dirty laundry? Bitch? How about we air out your mother dirty laundry? <laughs> you think you got shit on me? <laughs> oh, bitch, you ain't got shit. Let's start. Let's start with number one. Your mom's a mother head. Let's start with that. Your mom's a f***ing recovering hey. That's why you ain't got no goddamn money, bitch. Cyrex then called Jasmine out for making excuses for not having a job and that she was a second generation crackhead. And Jasmine, why don't we talk about the fact how you use autism or supposed autism and supposed anxiety to not get a job. You use anxiety and autism as a crutch to not get a mother job. And you want to sit there and talk about me not having a job? Look at you. You ain't never worked a goddamn mother day in your ass life. Let's be honest here, Jasmine. Why don't we talk about every single thing you wanted to talk about was It was this, my that. Oh, let's tonight, let's do this tonight. All you are is a user. You're a second generation crackhead. You're a second generation head, Jasmine, and you mother know it. I am mad. I'm laughing at your ignorance and at your stupidity. Cyrax started projecting worse than normal and it actually started getting me mad. You don't f***ing work. How are you going to survive when your mom dies? When your mom dies, how are you going to survive? You don't know how to f***ing work. You ain't got a job. You use anxiety and mother. Goddamn, whatever you can think of as a crutch. That's what you do. 
You use anxiety and autism as a mother excuse along with whatever imaginary bullshit goes on in your mother head. Cyrix would then show off everything that he's been given, claiming that he worked for it. Look at all this shit. Look at that. All this shit. All this shit that I fucking worked for. All this shit. Everything you see. Everything in this room. I worked for. Xbox. TV, all that shit, all this stuff that I use. Fan mail, keyboard, tripod, another tripod, keyboard with a stand, $100 speakers, uh, wheel rig, uh, f what else? Another wheel rig down there. Guitar, guitar back. All the shit I had, I can work my ass off for. Okay, everything I've got, I've worked my ass off for. You ain't worked a goddamn day in your life, you dumb. S Cyrix claimed that he only ever saw Jasmine do the dishes twice, even though they never met in real life, and then started saying how he showers daily, something that we really know isn't true. Cause your don't even do the god dishes, except for maybe once a week. Out of the six months that we dated, I've seen you maybe do the dishes maybe twice. I've seen you do the dishes maybe twice. You take a shower only once a week. At least I take a god shower every mother day. You shower only once a week. And you want to talk about me being nasty? So look at you. Look at you. You take showers only once a week. I shower every mother day. And yes, my family can, in fact, back that up. Cyrax then seemingly forgets that Ed is the only reason he's not living under a bridge, claiming that he makes his own money. Stop relying on money for everything. Look at me, I don't rely on my family to make money for me. I go out and I make my own money how and when I can. What do you do? Sit on your ass and do this on your switch all day? Alright, come on. Cyrax then said if Tony wanted Jasmine, he could have her, but with a little bit more pizzazz. If Tony wants a nasty ass little that don't clean her room, if Tony wants a nasty little that don't do shit, that barely takes a shower except for maybe once a week he can have that shit. i don't want somebody like that that's nasty as keep that shit a thousand feet away from my ass. for real keep that nasty away from my ass. I lost the video for this next clip, so please forgive me. But Cyrex would have some closing words before ending the stream. I left that bitch like a bad fucking habit. I dropped that bitch like a bad habit. So Jasmine, while I'm over here working my ass off and actually being successful, have fun being a fucking loser. And Jasmine, when you hit rock bottom, because you will hit rock bottom. Trust me when I say, you will hit rock bottom, Jasmine. And when you do, don't come crying to me or your friends when we all tried to tell you. We all tried to warn you. We all try to warn you, Jasmine.
We all tried to warn you, and you just didn't listen. Now look at you. A sad, pathetic, poor excuse for a human. So, have fun being a loser, bitch. Bye, bitch. Have fun being a loser. Have fun going nowhere with your head of a mom. Peace, you dirty. At the exact same time that this was going on, Marty would restream Cyrax's stream, wanting to talk to him. On this stream, Marty would announce that Jasmine would be back on that night to tell what she skipped the night before. Yo, what's up, everybody? Um, yeah, so I saw you live talking about Jasmine, and uh, uh, I wasn't planning on going live, but I felt like a fireman just sliding down the pole, you know what I mean? I should have. Well, nice to have him back, dude. It just really is. This is where he belongs, and, 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 and it makes me happy to see him here, you know? Oh, man. <laughs> well, I can confirm that Jasmine will be on later tonight um, uh, with with her secret weapons, I guess. Like, she, she kept a few uh, silver bullets in the chamber. Um, definitely looking forward to that. I don't think Cyrax is, but... Marty again said that Jasmine would be coming back on panel and then ended the stream... All right, well, yeah, Jasmine is uh, uh, going to be appearing later. She's got a bunch of uh, unrevealed actual details about Mr. Cyrax here. And, uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Later, Cyrax would do another stream called Be a Parent, Not a Friend. Cyrax tells us that the reason that Zoomers like to troll so much is because their parents didn't beat them enough. So I'm here today to... Because everybody always keeps asking, well, why, you know, why, like, all y'all old people sh why are people, you know, trolling and this and that? I can tell you exactly why. It's because all y'all new Gen Z motherfuckers think that it's cool to troll. And the reason why I think it's cool to troll is because your mom and daddy never beat you. This is a f***ing kid. That's the plain f***ing truth. Your mommy and daddy never gave you that good ass f***ing whooping with a belt, a wooden spoon, or a god title, or a switch from out back. And if you don't know what a switch is, that's a big long willow branch. About that long. Right there. About this mother long right here. sometimes even bigger. And if you didn't get the right size, guess what? You had to go back out and get a new one. And then, if you had to go back out and get a new one, you got it ten times worse when your mom and your daddy busted that Sarex tells us one of his many untrue childhood stories, this time saying that his dad was in the military before telling Karens to STFU. If I disrespected my mom and dad, I got it double bad. You want to know why I got it double bad? Because my family wasn't no fucking regular ass average show family. Nah. My dad was in the fucking military. So if I did anything to make him look bad to his peers or his commanding officers, guess what? When I got home from school that next day, not only did I get a from my mom's, my dad's boot went out my mother and I got my whipped from him. Half y'all mother out here today, even some of y'all grown adults, obviously your parents never fucking beat the kid and disciplined you. And for all you dumb mother parents out there nowadays saying, oh, spanking your kid and Hitting your kid with a belt on the ass is... That, that's abuse. No the f*** it ain't, Karen. Shut the f*** up. Cyrax tells us how he was getting paid bank in his Twitch days with sponsors, and the only reason he wasn't anymore was because of the trolls, as well as the fact that there are a few things that you don't mess with. I learned many 
and traits or any life skills to be able to get a job and have a sustainable career. I've got skills to have a sustainable career and I've shown that I can f***ing bust my ass and make a living doing what I do. That's why when I was on Twitch a few years ago, I was making motherfucking bank. I was doing good. I was getting sponsors, I was getting paid, and I was doing what I love. The only f***ing reason why y'all mother keep on getting me kicked off a guy that Twitch is because y'all think it's funny to f*** around with a man's job. Well, here's a lesson to you lazy ass f***s. And this ain't just coming from me. This is coming from my generation to your f***ing generation. There's three things you don't f*** with. A man's family, a man's job, slash money, and his god car. Those are three things you don't mess with. His car, his woman, and his money. Those are three things you don't f*** with. Cyrix tells all those Karen parents to go be parents. And to all those caring parents out there that are allowing their kids to do this shit, grow the fuck up. Be a fucking parent to your goddamn kid and stop being a motherfucking lazy ass and letting these iPads, these televisions, these computers, the internet, stop letting all that parent your kid. Be a motherfucking parent. Don't let the TV, the internet, the iPads, the iPhones, all that shit. Stop letting that shit parent your kid. That's the whole reason why these motherfuckers do what they do. Because you dumb motherfuckers had the kid, and now you don't want to motherfucker raise it because you're too goddamn lazy to do a goddamn thing. You're more worried about getting you're more worried about going to the club and doing this and doing that. Instead of taking care of your goddamn kid, you're out here shaking your goddamn ass on the motherfucking weekends every other night of the week, chasing the next fucking high, trying to get everything from fucking the weed, the fucking dope, all that. Maybe if you cut the fucking garbage out of your life, you might see that your kid is acting out because you ain't being a goddamn parent. Cyrus would give us another hypothetical that really makes you think before connecting it back to his Twitch. Let's say you had a high paying job doing, say, say you were the head of a company. Say your company made car parts for a living. Okay? Let's say that you were the head of the company that made car parts like turbos, axles, wheel wells, all that shit. You know, you guys did everything, right? You guys did everything like bumpers, fenders, side skirts, all that. Shit. Everything that you, everything that would go on a car, right? Let's say that you run that company and you're making big money. You're making money that you fought your whole life to be able to make, right? You fought your whole life to make that money. Now imagine, somebody comes along and costs you that fucking job for the stupidest fucking reason in the world. Because they're jealous of you. Because they're not making the money that you're making, they're jealous of you. So they do everything they can to get you fired. And your boss ends up firing you. And you end up losing everything. You end up losing your benefits, the pay. You end up losing your vacation days. You lose everything because of it. Everything that you've worked so hard to build. And your boss flat out says you're fired. You cannot sit there and tell me that you would not be even the slightest f***ing bit pissed off. 
I know I would be. And that's how I felt when you don't took my Twitch away. See, I had a job on Twitch. And see, the thing with that is this. I'm not Van invading no fucking body. I'm not Van invading nothing. Y'all just don't want to see a motherfucker like me get fucking paid. Cyrax gave a closing statement and ended the stream. So, with that being said, to all y'all parents out there, stop being fucking lazy. Take care of your fucking kid. Discipline your kid when they need it. And don't discipline them when they don't. Be a parent, not a friend. Be a parent and discipline your kid. Not be a friend and be a pussy and not discipline your kid. Because you ain't teaching your kid nothing by not disciplining them. So, be a parent and shut the fuck up. Take care of your kid and shut the fuck up. Cyrex would later go on to do another stream called New Era, New Me, No Trolls Allowed. What the f*** is up? What is up everyone? Cyrax started off strong, telling us that this was going to be a brand new era of Cyrax. You know what's funny? A lot of you dumb assholes seem to think that this ain't gonna be a brand new era, but it actually is. So I can say, without a doubt, after six months of a long and very much needed vacation, your boy's back to murder it on the mic. And there's one thing that y'all trolls need to learn about me. I ain't taking your no more. And if you don't like it, I don't care. Now, with that being said, let's do some sh After doing karaoke, Cyrax says that he's unstoppable because he's not going to acknowledge trolls. That, my friends, is very true. See, unlike six months ago, I am unstoppable this time. Because, see, I'm not going to give any of you trolls any kind of acknowledgement. Because you trolls don't deserve the acknowledgement. The only ones that get acknowledged are the people that support me. Those are the only ones that get acknowledgement. The ones that truly support me and are f trolls, they're the ones that I acknowledge. Cyrax goes off on some strange rant, saying that if people don't like his videos, they can watch something else. You guys are too scared to stop because you know if you do you know if you do you got nothing and i laugh at you all in the comments i do i see your comments but i laugh at your ignorance i laugh at your insolence i do i laugh at every single one of you so go ahead comment your little bullshit it's not like it affects me. Cause see, I'm up here. You all 
are way down here. You get that picture now? Nothing you say phases me. And never will. So, you may as well move on to another channel if you don't like what I do. I don't care. If you don't like what I do, go to another f***ing channel and watch another channel. Sarx gave us his best Jim Carrey impression and then gives the trolls two options. Have fun little whiny trolls. Have fun being losers. So I mean, you guys can either, you guys can do one of two things. You can either cut the crowd and actually be a good supportive person or you can sit there and laugh and just go the f somewhere else. All right, if you don't like what I do, go somewhere else. Cause quite frankly, I don't give a f about trolls. Cyrox says that he knows what the trolls are doing and that he has them figured out. So, nice f try. Cause like I said, I got you guys figured out. The minute that I drop my music or I even try to record anything original on here, you don't are gonna take it, clip it, and try to steal it and resell it. I'm not stupid. I know your game and it ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. So yeah, the only thing I'll be doing on this channel is producing beats and showing you guys how I do what I do and doing song covers. And if you don't like that, oh God, well. There was nothing of value for the rest of the stream, so I'm gonna cut it here. Marty would then do a stream called Cyrax is a Filthy Deviant and Degenerate, special guest Cyrax's ex-girlfriend Jasmine, where he brought on, you guessed it, Jasmine. Marty would then go on to talk about how you never know if Cyrax will actually come back or not after leaving, and then gives us a quick rundown on what Cyrax does in a day. I gotta say, uh, I gotta say, every time he goes away, you don't know that he's going to be back. Like, we should by now. I mean, I've been through so many of these scares. Like, you would think that that I would know that he's going to come back. Like, what else is he going to do? You know what I mean? Uh, he, he, he's stuck in that goddamn attic all day, popping those bed bugs and smelling them like a freak. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can only rearrange the furniture in the household so many times uh, before you got to get back on and start uh off to women on the internet. It's just inevitable. You know what I mean? Or or when that dries up, when you creep them out, that's what you're gonna hear tonight. Uh, then you gotta go on YouTube and start calling people boys. It's just like it's just what happens. It's just what happens. You guys know you I don't need to tell you. I'm sure you guys do the same thing. Um, I'm sure you know the drill. Like isn't something that <clears throat> everybody doesn't deal with. It's part of life. It's it's it happens sometimes. It's, 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 it's life, you know, <clears throat> wake up in the morning, pop bed bugs, smell them. Okay. Like that's, that's, that's what you, that's just like the first thing. That's just, that's just day one, you know, step one, start your day, pop some bed bugs. Um, and, and then, you know, that probably gets you to about, well, he wakes up maybe like 2 PM. That probably, uh, this is like, Oh, well, what else am I going to do with the rest of my day? Um, I know I'm going to call up um, any number of internet women and just start whipping on my you know what I mean? And uh, all the while, listen, I, so why am I even telling you this? You guys know, you guys know, this is, this is, this is adulthood. This is adulthood. You know, this is, this is, this is just how life works, you know? Um, so then you want to be productive, you know, you're like, so yeah, it's nice popping, popping bed bugs and smelling them. <laughs> and then, so then you wonder like, what am I going to do? I got to take care of my family. So 
then you go you go downstairs and you start rearranging the furniture uh, and and so hey maybe this table would look better if i shoved it four feet to the right okay that's how you take care of your family like that's just that's what you do yeah, look i don't need to tell you guys this you already you already know you already know the, you already know the drill you know you know the drill thing that devin too by the way um here let me send this link out um <laughs> this is this is how life works and if this if this is not your life you need to get your shit together okay move that couch yeah for sure for sure you know look absolutely absolutely so after you move the furniture around you, you know you, you got you want to you want to take a little break uh you hit up some other woman and you just start tucking your out at them Marty and Jasmine talked about how cartoonish this was and that Sox believes everything that comes out of his mouth. It's gone terribly south. Like, and everyone, like, honestly, uh, like, if, if somebody murdered him, people wouldn't say, oh, man, that's f***ed up. They'd, like, they'd cheer. They'd be like, yeah, <laughs> you know? Yeah, f*** well, yeah. Someone compared him to a cartoon character, and I can't get that out of my mind. What's the cartoon His, character? His like, reactions are so over dramatic. Like he's literally like Looney Tunes. Yeah, yeah. Like for for sure. Like like obviously none of this shit is real. You know what I mean? None of the shit is 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 actual or or legitimate. Like, well, I mean, he did get like punched in the face, but like he he could just like, turn off the internet and all of his problems would go away. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nothing so that I, comes out of his mouth is real. That's what it is. Do you think he believes it? <laughs> he 100% believes it, man. 100%. Yeah, okay. So, like, he's... Yeah, I guess, he like... Thinks, what? He thinks he's this big-time rock star, and he's got all these adoring fans. And he's told me. How would he put it? Like, how would he phrase it? Um, I don't even know how big I am. It doesn't feel like I'm famous, but I know I've got a big following, stuff like that. I do this for the fans. The fans are always sending me stuff. I do it for the fans. Yeah, like they send them like glitter bombs and like <laughs> or and like cheap little Walmart jewelry they probably found for like a buck at the dollar store. Marty mentioned just how wild it was that Cyrax said his bed bug situation was under control. What was really wild to me was like it's like and you've got bed bugs, which I don't anymore. It's under control. Like, no, the fuck it's not, dude. Your body's covered in open sores from scratching. Why bed. would I be so concerned about the bed bugs if I had them myself? The only thing we have living here is cats. Maybe a couple of ants, but we're going to get some poison. They're just back because it's summer. Um, hang on, what's this? Your hand. I just got a message. I don't know. Oh, okay. It's Michael Hacking. Uh, just, what do we say? Ask her about that audio. I don't know what you're talking about, Michael. I, I don't. I don't. I'm not sure what he's talking about. I'll have to read that later. Um, uh, yeah. So for clean, all right. Rats yeah. don't seem anywhere. Like you're not friends with rats. You don't hang out with <laughs> rats. You don't consider them no. your, your pals. I no. mean, the mosquitoes are so big they could be my pets, but I I wouldn't consider them that. That's just Florida, the Skeeters, you know, like the Skeeters yeah. probably. Yeah, that's just you know, my time. I, I wasn't aware of the correlation between not having a job and being a user. Because apparently he thinks I'm going to be on soon. Well, I think like a lot of blue collar like laborers like uh, do that sort of thing. Like, but so, so what are you saying that like. Not having a, how would you pay for it if you weren't working? Like, uh, yeah. Well, he keeps in that video. He kept saying I was gonna be a future head. Like, dude, like, ruined my childhood. So what happened? And Chance knows this. He absolutely knew this going into it. Unless he didn't want to listen to his girlfriend's trauma. But I guess that's on him. Marty asked Jasmine who mistreats who more between Cyrax and Sally, and Jasmine couldn't give a definitive answer. Who do you think like mistreats the other more between Sally and Cyrax or Cyrax and Sally? Or you know what I mean? Like he's a 32 year old man. Like they pay for his life. I think I, I um, with uh, Chance, it's more like he's draining the life out of her like slowly, and with her, it's like more yelling. But he's like literally taking away like her will to live. 
So in essence, like he's basically killing her slowly. Yeah. Um. Imagine being woken up twenty four seven because your son can't uh, stop talking to people on the internet. Yeah, like for sure. Like he's he's screaming buddy murder people. And like there's no way you could sleep. There's absolutely no way you could sleep. She'd uh, yell at him a lot about the noise, but I mean, she definitely deserves that at least. I like for one, honestly, like if he was under my roof, I I I would end up killing him. I would absolutely end up murdering the guy. I couldn't live like that. I, there's just no way. Yeah. Honestly, well, there's would, nothing Sally can really do, man. Well, I think it's a little too late. I think she should have done like a lot before. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think like at this um, point, just drop him off at a shelter and leave. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's 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 one solution for sure. Marty asked about Clint, and Jasmine told Marty that she thought that he was a troll. Marty would then ask about Ed and what his place is. Uh, I mean, it starts with a G, right? No. Okay. Way off. Australian man? Clint? Mm-mm. What do you know about Clint? Not much. Just that, like, he offered Chance, like, $10,000 worth of games. Like, when his wife dies, he can come move up there. That, that's what makes me think he's messing with them. Who would give Cyrax 10000 of anything besides, like, boxes? You were, you were talking that clip? Uh, once. I don't know what I think about that guy. I, I, I'm not sure, like, what he's up to. I can't imagine that anyone actually cares about Cyrax. But then again, you did. You know what I mean? Like, people actually do for whatever reason. Like, it's beyond my understanding. Um, yeah. Uh, like, I... Ten thousand is just a little bit too big of a number. I could understand a thousand, even two thousand, but ten thousand? You're gonna waste all that money on that beauty little imp? So were you talking about like Xbox dollars or like actual like physical copies of things? Um, like actual like whatever he wanted. Uh Cyrax is thinking he's gonna get like a whole gaming rig or whatever, like that racing rig. What do you think? Ed's motivation is for being there. Uh, Stockholm Syndrome. Hmm. How do you think he got he roped into so it? He stuck. Yeah. Like, to me, I feel like he probably had, like, some fucked up family. And this is, like, you know, as fucked up as it is. Like, it's the closest thing he's had to a family. So he just sticks around. Um, I think what it is is he knows that they're going to be homeless if he leaves. And he can't keep that on his conscience. Conscience. But, like, they don't, Sparx doesn't appreciate him at all. It would be impossible for me to deal with that <laughs> shit on a day in, day out basis. No. I've only uh, talked to Ed once and he was super nice. Like, you know, when you were like uh, rerouting the Xbox or whatever, sure. Chance like calls me in a panic, like trying to make me look at a map for him yeah. because for some reason he can't use his smartphone that he's calling me this. from. He, he, like, you had to give him directions, right? Like, because they couldn't yeah. figure out. <laughs> And, like, I didn't even know where he was. And, like, I talked to Ed, like, once in the video. He's like, I'm sorry about this. William Gloryhole then joined the call to ask a few questions. This is going to be cut down for time. The Komodo Dragon! Yo! <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How's it going, sir? I'm good. Hey, How are you doing, Marty? Okay. Hey, Jasmine. Um, I don't even know if I have any real questions for you, really. Yet. Uh, well, I've got one question. Uh, were you behind the Marty's a reddit post oh, probably God, no. she is on reddit i don't have I don't reddit well, you said you spent had it like it. once my account still might exist but i don't use it i'm sure you'll know if it exists <laughs> okay he knows all well, I, so i mean a lot of people are, are being i think overly friendly to you i'm not going to name names but um <laughs> What kind, of, um, what, kind of, what kind of mental state do you have to be in to be attracted to a ch Honestly, I just tried not to think about it, man. It started as a troll. I just really pitied him. It really yeah, started yeah. as a troll, man. I mean, so you, you have pity for ch is what you're saying. And, and you think um, that that's okay? No, God, no. Oh, God, no. I mean, because there is uh, a really... There's only one thing worse than a ch 
or that's someone who supports and associates with them on the level that you were doing that. Yeah, I don't have any excuse for it, man. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry about that, man. I don't have any excuse for it. I mean, so what 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 made you feel sorry for him? His eyes. He just has like kicked puppy eyes. He looks like a little dog, like so sad. When you sleep, they chase. <laughs> I'm really sorry about that, man. Like, I really do regret it. And I'm definitely having second thoughts about Tony because I know a lot of people keep saying the same things. And I honestly don't even know, man. I just, I feel so disgusted by it. I just, I feel so bad that I associated with him. And I feel bad that I might associate with Tony because he has those claims too. I just, I really feel bad about that. I'm sorry. I don't. Yeah. I don't know. What else I don't know. If you, to say I don't even know if you should feel sorry, but I mean, just the like you. You were. I mean, you seriously. I mean, if I'm to believe you that you're being honest right now, you were seriously <laughs> wanting to give him a baby. I mean, that's ridiculous. Honestly, I didn't think he'd be keeping the baby. Honestly, I thought I'd be raising it with my mom. Because he's such like a little weasel. He get out of it. Sorry. Uh, sorry. That dragon is distracting you, Marty. The next day, on May 27th, Marty would do a stream called Amazingly Well Done Cyrex Documentary by Prickles the Bedbug. Let's watch it. Make sure to subscribe. Marty gave a little intro before showing the video. Oh, sh dude. So I thought I was talking. I guess I didn't add myself. Um, yeah, so uh, I want to say thank you to Pickles the Bad Bug uh, for this tremendous installation in the Cyrax universe. Um, one of the best Cyrax documentaries I've seen. Um, very well done. Very, very, very well done. Um, just phenomenal. Um, the, kudos to like the art to the artistry. Um, yeah, no. So I forgot to add myself, but yeah, I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be a very long stream. I gotta get going in like a half hour or so. Um, but I figure you guys would enjoy this for those who haven't seen it. Um, you know, it's worth watching even twice or three times for those who have. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, make sure to uh, to subscribe and let the guy know what you think about it. Um, I, I can't imagine anyone will have anything but positive reviews for this. It's very, 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 very well done. Um, so with that being said, I'm just going to uh, remove myself and uh, press play, and it really speaks for itself. Um, Pickles, bravo, sir. Bravissimo. You killed it. All right, folks. Marty would then give a little outro before leaving the stream. Yeah, I thought it was absolutely phenomenal. Very cinematic. Um, make sure to like, uh, subscribe. I, I hope this doesn't get taken the wrong way. Like, um, I feel like if you play like a similar backing soundtrack, and you have a guy talk like this, throughout its entirety that like a, a dog taking shit could become like a really beautiful story and uh that's what was told here um bravissimo very well done make sure to uh leave some comments for the guy um definitely deserves a lot of uh praise and uh applause so yeah um that's what i got uh i have some uh, things that i think you guys will be pretty interested in later um but uh i do have to uh, get going so thank you very much all uh, job well done uh, to um it's pickle something let me see here pickles the bed bug there you go Quit artwork. What's up, everyone? What is this? Um, oh, a lot of you guys have been asking me since earlier, am I okay? And the answer is physically, yes, I'm fine. But mentally, I'm not okay. I'm not okay by any means. I'm really not. For the past several months, I've been being harassed and bullied to the fullest extent by a person by the name of William Glory Hole. He has attacked my family, attacked my friends, cost my biological father his job, cost me my job with my best friend. He continues to bully me through places such as Discord. He continues to belittle me. Everybody like everything. Let's see how you like it. All right. Um, yeah, like yourself. Let me, let me put it in there one more time. Hmm. All right, see you guys later. Fast forward to May 29th, Cyrex would do three streams, starting with one directed towards Candle Smith, where he tells us just recently he cried because of her. Good morning, Facebook. How's everybody doing this morning? Now, this is going to be a bit of a long video, but this is important.
last night for the first time in seven years. I fully broke down in the years and bawled my eyes out. Why? I'll tell you why. Because for the last seven years, as you guys know, I've been through hell. But there's a person that's to blame for that, and it's not just one person, it's a couple people. But the main one is the one I'm going to get to. I started thinking about all the people that I've lost, friendship-wise. All my friends and loved ones that have, that have died that I have not had the chance to grieve over until early this morning. The fact that my whole life has been f***ed up because of Candle. Who is the reason I've been through hell? Cyrex then tells Candle that he doesn't care what she thought of him because he was going to tell the truth about her. I don't give a f if you hate me after this. I don't care if you write a post about me. I don't f care. It's about God time someone spoke the truth about you. You're a lying sack of fucking sh and you're a fucking bag little f And there's a reason I say that. Because for the last seven years you've made my life a living fucking hell. A never-ending nightmare. The sh** you've done to me has almost completely ruined me for no reason. Why? Because you're a lazy f***ing that doesn't want to work or do anything. Cyrex tells us that she deserves to be in prison and to have received the same amount of trolling that he has because she has ruined lives and even goes as far to say that he's going to dox her. You do not deserve to have a god life. You know what you deserve? Your ass deserves to be behind f***ing bars. Your ass deserves to be in prison. Your ass deserves the sh** that I've gotten for the last seven years. Now let's be honest, Candle, you never served in the military. That was your dad that served. And you're ruining your dad's name by throwing on his military uniform, his military uniform and his fatigues just so you can get free handouts from the VA and other places. Because you don't want to fucking do shit for yourself. You know, I don't know if you realize this, Kendall, or if you even give a f It's probably the second one, you probably just don't give a f But what you do ruins lives. What you do destroys people. And trust me when I say this, Kendall, I will be giving out your Facebook to everyone that I can. I will be giving out your personal Facebook. And when you make another one, I'm going to give that one out too. You make another one, I'm going to give that one out as well. You want to know why? Because you deserve the harassment that you've given to me for the last seven years. And plus, I think it's about time somebody exposed you. For the piece of shit that you are. Oh, let's not forget, Candle, how you went to the courts and lied to a f judge. Cyrax told Candle that someday her actions will catch up to her with his eyes closed. Because trust you when I say, Candle, eventually your actions will catch up with you. All these states you're fleeing to, eventually you're going to run out. 
Eventually you're gonna run out of places to run to. Then what? Then what are you gonna do, Candle? Cyrus would give a closing statement before ending whatever that was. So Candle, do yourself a favor. Take all your lies, crumble them up into a little ball, shove them up and go yourself. Because you're nothing more than a lazy little So Candle, do yourself a favor, you care now. Go f yourself. You lazy piece of Because karma will catch up with you, and when it does, you're going to regret it. Cyrix would do a second stream later that day, talking about how he hasn't been making music lately. Well, man, I know a lot of y'all have not heard me put out any new music on social media in a while. And I wanted to explain why. Because as y'all know, over the last seven years, I've been through some crazy, crazy sh And that's kind of, you know, stunted me working on music and whatnot. But what's preventing me from really dropping anything new, it's not, you know, me focusing on this and that and the other and not letting it. It's because motherfuckers have been stealing my music even if I get it copyrighted. And they've been getting the royalties for it. So unfortunately I have to wait to release my music until I can get an LLC going under my name so I, I can legally do my sh like I've been doing and not have my sh get jacked from me. Over the last seven years I've lost about Anywhere is from one to two point five million dollars in ad revenue, reviews, donations, sponsors, all kinds of stuff. Because of these people that have done what they did. But also on the flip side of that man, I've gained a lot of you know, people that have heard my music, that love my music. And I just wanted to take a minute to say I love y'all, man. And I want to say thank you guys for listening to my music, for showing love, showing support. I truly appreciate you guys, man. I really do. I appreciate everybody that listens to my music. Um, everybody that, you know, messages me saying how much my music has helped them. All the fan letters, all the different cool shit. You know, I appreciate you guys, and I don't ever take that for granted. Cyrax showed off what he called his gold bracelet and talked about Viking culture. Before I show this clip, you really gotta ask, what does he think gold feels like? In the culture of Norse Viking, a torque, which is not this or this, but this golden bracelet right here, this gold bracelet right here, this is known, this is what's called a tour. And these things are not given out lightly at all. They're given out to people that have high regard for someone else. So like, let's say that I have a tour that I was given and whatnot, and I then pass that torque on to you. If I pass it on to you, it's because I have very, very high regard for you. And you've obviously done something that means something. That is, you know, whether that be good or standing up for somebody or, you know, something very significant. And those are the only times that those are given out. And this was sent to me by a fan who obviously you know, clearly has high regard for me. And I can honestly say the only time that this thing comes off right here, the only time this thing comes off is if I'm taking a shower. That's the only time that comes off. Other than that, I wear it all day, every night. I sleep with it on, everything. You wonder why? Because that's how much that means to me. 
like for me it's an honor to receive something like that to know that somebody has that much high regard for me but that they're willing to do that that right there means a lot to me and I don't take that lightly I fully embrace that and I am so so beyond honored to be able to receive that I am beyond honored to receive something of that. Cyrex would go on to talk about a surprise project, but because he never said anything about it besides the fact that it was a surprise, I decided to skip it and the rest of the stream. Marty would end the day doing a stream called Bowser Knot. For the troops, I've got Sally's new number. Marty, after covering the latest white Bowser news, called Sally like five times while watching Komodo Dragon videos and watched the video we just saw. So, for the first time, we're going to skip an entire Marty stream. Very late that night, or very early in the morning, Sax would stream, saying that he was sick of the trolls and that he wasn't a pedo fork. Uh, first off, I'd like to say thank you to one of my closest, closest friends of all time, Kara, uh, for standing up for me last night and this morning like you did. Kara, I want to say thank you so much. I truly, truly, truly appreciate that. And I wanted to piggyback off of what you said, actually. And you're very right, Kara. You're very right. I am sick of being harassed and all of that shit. And it goes deeper than that. I'm not just sick of being harassed. I'm sick of just sitting by and watching mother like y'all trolls ruin my life. I had an amazing, I actually had my dream job a few years ago, which was being a full-time paid Twitch streamer. I was a professional streamer. I had great content, people loved what I did, I was able to be myself, but because you guys thought that it would be funny to come in and f with me, I lost my job as a result because you guys cannot get over this f me being a supposed f shit. My friend Kara's right, man. You guys seriously need to grow the f up. It's getting old and fast. Cyrex must have been talking to Saul Goodman lately because he proved he was innocent of these accusations. The situation to that. And if I really was a I would have been arrested that night. But I was not arrested and I showed the police every thing. And let me tell you right now, mother If I really was a phone, why am I not in jail right now? Why am I not in the jail cell? If I was really a mother phone, I'd be in jail right now, you dumb fucks. I'll be honest, I'm tired of just sitting here and watching my career go to sh Because you mother want to take and take and take and take and take and take. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? That's ending today, because let me tell you right now, I do have a Twitch. I do have one. But you motherfuckers ain't gonna get it. Cyrax tells us that he has a new Twitch account, he's going to be getting his old job back at Twitch, and that he's going to be sponsored by Monster Energy Drink. Because you motherfuckers want to take and take and take and take and take and take. Well, guess what, motherfuckers? That's ending today, because let me tell you right now, I do have a Twitch. I do have one. But you motherfuckers ain't gonna get it. And I am going to get my job back. I am going to rebrand and push my Twitch as much as I can. But I'm gonna do it in a private manner. Because I actually enjoyed my job. And I would very much like to get my 
can drop back. What you guys don't understand is that I worked my ass off when I had that job. Believe it or not, at one point, I was in the works of talking with Monster Energy about a possible sponsorship. I had just gotten some sponsorships with some smaller energy drink companies before Marty came in with his self-righteous, egotistical, fat ginger bullshit and f***ed me over. All because he's jealous of my hard work ethic. Well, guess what? That hard work ethic has been ingrained into my blood and into my brain since I was a fucking kid. Okay? Unlike you dumb motherfuckers that sit here and mouth off on my posts, unlike you guys, I've actually done shit. Half you motherfuckers don't even fucking got work, dude. Half you motherfuckers don't work. Cyrax tells his haters not to watch him because there are 15 billion other people on YouTube that they can watch. If you don't like what I'm doing on a stream, the answer is simple. Don't f***ing watch. There's only 15 billion people on YouTube at any given time. So you got plenty of content you can watch. Whether that be on YouTube, on Twitch, whatever. If you don't like what I'm doing, don't f***ing watch. Now, if you like what I'm doing, then you can, you know, you can leave a comment and be chill. And for all y'all that do enjoy my content, just know that I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Cyrax even had another message for Candle Smith. And on a quick side note, Candle, I know you're only mad because I called your f***ing fake ass out, you dumb motherfucker. You're mad because I called you the f*** out. And you don't like being called out. Well, I'm sorry, but when it comes to those you've done to me and to Paul and to several other people, guess what? I'm going to continue to speak out against you. And you want to know why? Because you f***ing deserve it after everything you've put us through. The sh you put me and Paul and Brooke and God knows how many other people through with your false accusations and your lies and your f***ing garbage. You deserve to be called out. You deserve it. Because of you, my life has been a living fucking hell for the last seven fucking years. And I'm tired of it. So, Candle, fuck you. I'm taking back my life. And I'm rebuilding. Cyrex would challenge people to make videos, but I started to get mad at this point when he said he made quality content, so I had to turn this off. Finally, Cyrex would do another daytime stream, and I would like to end this video off with some highlights. Alright, so everybody wants to know the f***ing truth, right? Everybody wants the f***ing truth. Well, I'm about to f***ing give it to you. This little puke, known as CVG, or no more common known as Cyrax Video Games 2.0, for the last several months, has been making my life a living f***ing hell, and keeping me from making money that I deserve to make, and I'm tired of being quiet about it. Because of people like him, I am losing out on $2.5 million a year in ad revenue from YouTube and sponsors because of this guy. I made a brand new Twitch last night. And the very last second, one of my friends from Twitch, seeing that I had a brand new channel, said, you know what they were gracious enough to do? They were gracious enough to raid my channel. Very last second, they were gracious enough to raid my channel. 
and it went from like one to almost over a thousand. And about 30 of those people were paid subscribers because they knew my content, they know what I'm about, they enjoy my content, and they love what I do. But yet, I don't get to make money because of CBG. Because the minute that I went to go log into my Twitch and go stream for these guys, guess what? Channel got shut down. And Twitch ain't doing nothing about it. I'm sick of not being able to do what I love for a living. I want to be able to be a pro streamer again. Because I was at one point. I was doing gameplay videos. Having fun. Hanging out with people. That's when I was good friends with Nyla the Red Panda. Who has since then let greed go to his f***ing head. And he basically cut off friendship off because he'd rather take greed over friendship. And I'll be honest, I am sick of sitting here not being able to do anything. I want to tell you guys something. It's not that I don't know how to promote myself, because I do know how to promote myself. My issue is little mother like CVG getting in a f***ing way and preventing me from doing sh** to be able to promote myself so I can make money. I want my sh** filled with good people, respectable people, people that will actually support what I'm doing and actually enjoy what I do instead of sitting there f***ing trolling me. That's the only reason why I don't promote it like I do because I'm not going to have some motherfucking trolls sitting there doing this to me. I deserve better. Not only do I get caught up by Ken or Marty and all these people, but I also lose out on making a f***ing living because of these mother weirdos that don't want me to make f***ing money for f And it pisses me the f*** off. It really does. It pisses me the f*** off. It don't matter whether it's Facebook, it don't matter whether it's YouTube. These guys want to get in my way of making money. And I'm getting tired of it. I'm seriously getting tired of this shit. I want to make money. I do. I want to promote myself like I used to. But because of these trolls, I can't do that. How would you know that I'm not getting anything unless you let me make the the money that I need to make. How would you know? You don't know. You only think you know. But in reality, you don't know. And I'll be honest, I am sick of just sitting by being quiet and not standing up for my brand that I've tried to build over the years. I'm sick of it. I'm a businessman. I'm a content creator. I know what my business is worth. I know what I'm worth. And I know what the f*** I'm capable of. I mean, I get it. Twitch is just a platform, blah, blah, blah. But you don't get it. Coming from my perspective, from somebody who actually knows business and knows what the f*** they're doing, and somebody who's actually gotten to do what they love for a job, for a f***ing job, when that was your first job ever, and you finally get to do it, uh, think about this. Let me put it this way. Imagine you're in my position, okay? Imagine you get to do your job as a Twitch streamer, and you love what you do. You love what you do. You're making money. You have a partnership with Twitch on the way. You're already an affiliate. you got sponsors hitting you up. You're doing good. You're doing good. You got paid subscribers coming in every month that are loving your content. And you're doing really, really good. You're doing really well for yourself. And you're on your way to that next level, right? You're on your way to that next level. Now imagine if at the drop of a hat, someone came in and mass reported you for shit that you weren't even doing. And now ever since then, People come in from their community, every time you try to rebuild yourself, they report you like that. I had just hit affiliate. I was already on my way to being a partner with Twitch. I was on my way to that. And then what happened? Marty and all these 
pukes came in and f***ed it up just like that. Why? Because they don't want to see a weird mother like me actually doing good. And I'm getting f***ing tired of it. I don't deserve this. My family doesn't deserve the harassment they get. Like I said, I deserve to make a living. And for all you trolls, stay the f*** out of my way and let me do my f***ing job. Okay? Because you don't do nothing except sit at home anyway. While I'm over here busting my ass, you ain't doing shit. So to all the trolls including CVG out there, f*** you. You lazy motherfuckers. Really, finally, the last thing that happened was the bench on Cyrex's porch got stolen by another person seeing it on Facebook Marketplace. Woo! That's both it for me and it for this video. I genuinely have no idea how 12 days of Cyrax ended up being this much content. As of writing this little outro, I'm a couple days into the whole thing and I feel like Tom Hanks after he returned home in Castaway. I just went on a journey that I could only retell through these videos, and if you think that these videos are long, then you have no idea what they could be. But that's enough out of me. I think that both me and you have something important to get back to. As always, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.